Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. Sephora called and she wants us to spend more money. So for today's video, I'm going to be going over some of my recommendations for the newest summer Sephora VIB sale. So if you are interested in hearing my top picks, then just keep watching. A little salty about this because now I gotta spend my money. Sephora typically has only two VIB sales, but they're going a little crazy and we have a surprise summer sale. I feel like we just had a VIB sale, but I'm not complaining because I get 20% off. So here are the deets for this sale. So if you are a VIB Rouge, you get 20% off. Regular VIBs, you get 15% off. It starts August 19th for Rouge, and it starts the day after 20 for the VIB, and it goes until the 27th. All you have to use is the code SUMMERSAVE, and you can use it online or in store. So I almost didn't do this video because it's kind of a surprise sale, but these are one of my favorite videos to do, so I had to. So for this one, I wanted to recommend products that I have been loving since my last VIB recommendations video. So as always, I suggest if you are still wanting more recommendations, definitely check out my older recommendations videos. A lot of those products are still true. I just don't want to repeat myself. So a lot of these are newer, newish products, and if they're not, they're new to me. I have a lot of basics that I always recommend you pick up for the VIB sales. You know, pick up your hair care, pick up things that you use every day, all the time, your staples. Pick up that really expensive product you've been wanting for a while. But here's just Here's some good ones. Let's start off with skincare. This is new to me. I purchased this in line at Sephora a few weeks ago because I forgot to bring a face wash. This was where you stand to line up. It was in those bins that get you. This is the Corez Greek Yogurt Foaming Cream Cleanser. This one, I believe, was like only $11 because it's a travel size, but you get quite a lot of product, and it is so good. It is so gentle on the skin. I always recommend picking up the smaller one, especially for skincare, just to test it out, but it's it's a really good deal. It's really good for sensitive skin. My skin has been improving. We went through a little bit of a rough patch there and I really think that this has helped. So I have been loving this cleanser. Another item that I've been loving, this is kind of an OG for a lot of people, but for me this is new. These are the Kogendo Cleansing Spa Water Makeup Remover Wipes. What I love about these is how robust they are. They are just so Thick. They're not gonna break, they're not flimsy, and they get the makeup off. I really like these. I also feel like every single wipe is thoroughly soaked, so it just, it is so good, and they are quite pricey, so I use this only for special occasions or like really heavy makeup days. So get this on sale while you can. These are really good makeup remover wipes. Okay, so let's get to the good stuff now. A lot of foundations have released, so I do have a number of foundations to talk about with you guys. The first one, I'm on the fence about, but I just have to mention it because it is so pricey. The Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. This is almost a $70 foundation and you guys know I'm a huge Pat fan, so I was gonna get this regardless if it was great or awful. At least get it for 20% off because I'm not gonna lie, I don't think this foundation is necessarily worth the price, but if you can get it on sale, this is a, a great opportunity for you to pick it up. And it really, it's not a bad foundation. I do like it. If you like full coverage, don't buy this, but I think if you like really natural skin-like foundations, this one is super good. So I do like it. It's not my favorite of the new foundation releases but I do really like it but it is so pricey that I feel like if you can get it for 20% off that definitely makes it a little bit more worth it because it is a good foundation I do like it from her complexion line I'll just talk about it if you want to pick up a powder I do like her powders I have mine in the shade light medium too I feel like her color range in these are terrible the undertones awful light medium 2 though is a great color and it's a very universal color for up to medium skin tones so even medium skin tones you guys can pull this off I think these are the only two items that are actually worth it in her complexion line the primer not worth it but the foundation and the powder I definitely think with the extra 20% off are more worth it this one also just has an awful value there is so little product in here that don't pay full price for this if you are interested in it. If you are interested in it, you can get it for 20% off, so it makes the value a little bit better, but it's a good powder. I really do like it, and that's why I'm recommending it to you. 
But I'm going to tell you, the value of it sucks. So at least if you want to give the powder a go, get it for 20% off. I mean, I'm, I have to be honest with you guys. I really like the powder. This foundation, I did not get a chance to review. I feel like it might be too late, but if you still want to see it, you have to comment below. I'm not going to do a review on this unless I get a few people asking for a review of this. I'm going to give a little bit away, obviously, the ABH Luminous Foundation. I have used this twice now, and... It's so good. I did a wedding today and I was standing in a hot, humid room with no air conditioning working for three hours. I wore it for probably eight or nine hours and my makeup looked so good. If you like a more dewy, luminous foundation that actually wears really well, this is super nice. This is a super good release. I really like this foundation. Another one, again, I was thinking of just doing a full-blown in-depth review on, so you need to comment if you want to see it. But I did pick up the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Natural Skin Perfector. So I do believe she did reformulate her tinted moisturizers. I really do like this one. Now this really is just a tinted moisturizer you're not going to get too much coverage but this is perfect for back to school i definitely would recommend this for those who are going back to school or who just want a little bit of tint for work i love the way that this wears it just wears so beautifully where you don't look crazy at the end of the day it's not patchy but your skin is glowing and it's pretty and it just looks so supple okay i'm saying that i will be honest i've only used this once so that is why i'm thinking of doing a review on it but from what I can tell this is super good and definitely this is a new product that I want to recommend that you guys pick up during the sale because I like this a lot. I cannot wait to keep playing with it. Alrighty, highlighters. So I did do a review on this highlighter along with the foundation and ooh, I loved this way more than I thought I would. This is the Milk Makeup Flex Highlighter. I have mine in the shade Lit. If you want to see it in action, definitely go check out that review. It's just a few videos back. I normally don't purchase full-sized highlighters because they're overpriced for one color but this is so good and you know what get it for 20% off that makes me feel a little bit better that even though you're just purchasing one full-size highlighter you are getting it for cheaper so that's why I'm throwing it in this video because this is a really beautiful highlighter it blends into the skin seamlessly it just looks like a glow on your skin now I cannot speak for other colors but this color if I do say so myself is quite stunning and even from that can't you just see how this blends into the skin so i've recently been taking extra time to blend my highlighter into my skin and it's really made a world of difference in how my skin looks and this just blends in so nicely and it has the prettiest glow you can build it from a natural to a bright beaming glow so so i did not think i would love this as much as i thought i would and i had to throw it into this video for you guys because it is so good i do not want you to mist out it's a very customizable highlighter and it's just so pretty i love it this is a little bit older but i did want to talk about it because i loved it this summer this is the charlotte tilbury glowgasm beauty light wand high blush i do have a few other charlotte tilbury products mentioned in this video so just be prepared but this is the pink one let me see if i can show you so this is so pretty as a glowy blush highlighter so you could either use this as a blush topper or i just really like to put it all over my cheeks for really blushy glowing cheek i won't add a highlighter this kind of does a two-in-one job but it is so stunning it makes the cheeks look so young and fresh and glowy and if you guys follow charlotte tilbury on instagram she <sighs> The models she uses, one, are stunning, and just the glow in her makeup videos, it's like unachievable, but this help makes me feel like that glow is kind of achievable, and so I love this, and I did want to throw this in here to recommend it to you guys. Another highlighter product that I wanted to recommend to you guys is the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. This is the number two glitz now this isn't brand brand new but it is still pretty new i find myself reaching for this highlighter time and time again particularly this shade right here it's amazing it is one of the most smooth highlighters i've ever seen on the skin no textures emphasized and it looks like it is your skin when you apply it and then i like using these two to kind of amplify it and add a little bit of an extra obnoxious glow but this shade in particular has been my go-to and i just find myself 
reaching for this so often. I have so many highlighters and this just, it's an easy grab for me. I know it's going to look good. I can customize how it's going to look and it is a really nice highlighting palette. I did just want to bring it into your attention that it's really, really good. Another Charlotte Tilbury product that I have here is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. Now this I actually did purchase during the last VIB sale and it was worth it. So that's why I wanted to recommend it to you guys because I'm so happy I purchased it while it was on sale because it's really good but I just cannot bring myself to pay a full price for two powders like a bronzer and a highlighter but I have been using this a ton it's just the perfect tone this is the light one and this adds the most subtle highlight as well I just think this is a good easy to grab palette for your face it kind of takes the thought out of it you can just do it and you know it's gonna look good it's kind of boring but it is a trusty essential in anybody's makeup bag boring really pricey so definitely get it for 20% off while you can eyeshadows you guys know eyeshadow palettes are the way to my heart if I could only review one thing on my channel it would be eyeshadow palettes I have a sick passion for eyeshadow palettes so the first one that I want to mention to you guys I did just recently review is the Natasha Denona Coral palette this is $48 so it is not cheap for five eyeshadows but I would recommend you go check out my review I really love the quality of this it is a very cohesive palette you can't get a ton of looks with it so when you buy this you have to know you want these colors you, you want a look that's going to be like this but I really like it I find it a very easy palette I think it's a beautiful spring palette even though it's like not spring at all but you do have some wonderful colors for fall as well and I just think it's really pretty and it's been a really thoughtless palette for me like I will just grab for it and just throw the shades on and it looks good now I didn't mention this in my review and and whew, everybody knows it besides me, but the Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette, you might want to get this instead. Though I do love the Coral Palette, it does make sense that you might want to purchase this because a lot of colors in the Coral Palette are very similar to the colors in the Sunrise Palette. And at the end of the day, this is just a way better value than this one so either one of the two I think you guys are going to love personally I like having both I'm not gonna lie I just like having these five colors in here but yeah if you are looking for more of a better deal get the Natasha Denona Sunrise both of these are fantastic so I did want to mention both of these in this video also a newer one that obviously is gonna be on everybody else's recommendation is the AB8 Jackie Ina palette. It is so good. I don't know what else to say other than it's so good and you should buy it if you're thinking about it. You can get it for 20% off. The shadows are bomb. The quality is bomb. You can get so creative with this palette, but you can also stay wearable as well. Jackie did a fabulous job with this palette and it's just a favorite of mine right now. It's a new release and it's always exciting when you can purchase a new release for a little bit cheaper. So yes, definitely get your hands on this before it sells out. I would suggest you order this early on because this is going to sell out during the VAB sale very early. I guarantee you. So you better jump on it. I have a confession. I'm a little ashamed and I've been keeping a secret from you guys for sure. I have been <laughs> purchasing Tom Ford quads on the low low and not telling you guys because they're expensive. And I have grown quite a little collection. So <laughs> yeah. But Tom Ford palettes, they're not worth it if you can't appreciate them, okay? They're quads, they're very overpriced, but they're so pretty. So I did want to pick out some to talk about with you guys. You can get them for a little bit cheaper with the sale. So I wanted to talk about a few of my current favorites. So I did do just a random Tom Ford eyeshadow quad video with two of their three newest releases. And I didn't pick up one just because it wasn't calling my name. And then you guys were like, get it, get it, get it. And then I got it and it's been a rock in my world. This is the Suspicion. And it's just got gold and it's just so pretty on the eye. If you've never tried a Tom Ford eyeshadow quad, just know they are so elegant on the eye. 
they look expensive on the eye in my opinion and they apply like butter they're very similar to charlotte tilbury if you ask me they have that very similar effect on the eye but this is just a gorgeous gorgeous gold one and you can use them wet or dry they look fantastic either way the other one i mean african violet is this is a really fun color scheme for tom ford so i'll show you look at that so pretty you guys and you know how I feel about purple. By the way, I kind of suck because I'm not wearing anything in this video <laughs> on my face. Because I just wanted to play with makeup and use some oldies. But, ugh, this is so pretty. If you are more fun, you like more warmer looks with a pop of purple. African Violet. This caught my eye in the store. I had to, had to have it. And then on the last one. If you do not own a Tom Ford palette, th this is it. This is what you need to try out the formula to fall in love. Now this is an all matte palette, but it is butter. It's just butter. It's the butter of eyeshadows. And this is Coco Mirage. This is an old one. And look how boring it looks. But I'm telling you, there are not matte eyeshadows that swatch like these. My demos are not very good. Don't look at them. But these mattes, just know, they're all you need. They set the bar. They are amazing i took a very long time to pick this one up because it's boring as ever but it is so good so whenever i decide i want to do a tom ford eye i will always have this to use those base colors and then i'll pop whatever beautiful color i want on my lid and yes so those three i've been loving it's a good time to venture into the tom ford world if you've been interested last eye product this is from charlotte tilbury surprise surprise i've been loving her brand this year she really just mm. so this is the eyes to mesmerize in rose gold mine is all gunky looking but this is amazing it's such a pretty cream eyeshadow so earlier i talked about how that cheek product gave it that glow that looks like it's done by a filter on her instagram this is another product that does it for you if you just use this with a brush all over the lid now it just it, it doesn't look that exciting on a swatch but all over the eyelid it looks scrumptious if you love a good rose gold eye this is stunning it's a great time to pick these up i'm very happy that sephora has these in a lot of stores too actually a lot of stores by me have these rose gold is the best color so pretty now these do crease so you do kind of want to watch that wear time but this is just the most effortless eye that is so pretty i did want to talk about that been loving that lips so i only have two products they're both bullet lipsticks uh charlotte tilbury i did want to mention the hot lips 2 collection is at sephora and i would strongly recommend that you check out my swatch and collection video of the hot lips 2 collection i swatched the entire collection told you my thoughts on the colors i love charlotte tilbury lipsticks one of the best formulas out there and not only does this line have cuter packaging than her regular line but the colors in here are fantastic as well every lipstick has a story some of my personal favorites that we have in love with olivia angel alessandro Karina star i love those but definitely check out my video for this collection because i would just strongly recommend you just you pick up one or two of them they literally they give me joy just being in my collection so this is kind of a product in general that i recommend you check out i have talked about these for a while but i purchased some more colors i've just been so obsessed that i i wanted to mention it again becca lipstick formula fire so good i don't know what it is about her formula that i love i just feel like they look so smooth on the lips they're so creamy and the colors are bomb i have a few that i just purchased they're in a bag because i need to call them but one of my favorites are sugar that's actually in a purse but sugar is one that i would recommend because it goes with everything dusk right here also just a good everyday color gosh these lipsticks are just so creamy and they make your lips look a little bigger just because of the formula and shine that they have i know the chloe and malika collection those lipsticks have been on sale i don't know if they're still on there but those are also some really good colors i believe this is one of them this is yours truly kind of a little bit more peachy i don't know i'm not going to tell you what colors to get but i'm just saying look into this formula because 
they last a long time too they just have everything that i like in a lipstick and i've just been obsessed with this formula so that was a lot of talking i was said i was only going to pick a few items for this video and i just kept grabbing things but anyways i hope you guys found this helpful i'm not personally planning on buying a lot but i know that's a lie and that's not gonna happen also tell me some products that you want me to review because i feel bad that i'm a little late on like these so i don't even know if it's worth my time anymore so anyways <laughs> thank you guys for watching this video remember to subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys have a good one